Hello everyone, I'm Reetan Raj, Product Manager at 42 Gears. In this video, we're going to take a look at how do we configure Autopilot in Shure MDM and its experience. The whole process takes five simple steps and firstly, we shall create a default profile for Windows platform that gets applied as soon as the device gets onboarded to Shure MDM. In my case, a simple Windows restriction policy to block camera has been created and deployed. I'm going to name the policy name as Windows Default Profile, Restriction Policy, General Settings, Disable Camera, I'm going to save it. Right click on the profile and mark the profile as Default. Moving to second step, we shall set up few things on Azure AD Portal to ensure sure MDM as the default MDM for all Azure AD joint devices. To be able to do this, we need to log into Azure Active Directory Portal, browse to Azure AD Application, Mobility, MDM, and MAM. Here, the first thing that we need to do is disable Intune as the default MDM. We shall then add Sure MDM as the MDM application to be able to manage our devices. While the application is being added, you would be prompted to enter a couple of URLs. The first one is going to be our terms of use that an organization has decided for the end users to accept upon enrolling a Windows device. Replace the existing terms of use URL with your terms of use URL. The next URL is going to be the MDM discovery URL, which is for our Windows enrollment. Replace this. Set the scope to all so that your MDM becomes the default MDM. In our third step of integration, we will be adding certain information on your MDM console, one of which will be Azure's tenant ID. To find Azure's tenant ID, go to Azure AD portal, properties and Copy the tenant ID. Then browse to Shure MDM console, account settings, Windows management, Windows enrollment, and then go about entering the tenant ID. You could also validate by clicking on validate and you would be able to find that the enter tenant information is valid. You would then be prompted to enter application ID and application secret, which is very much available on the Shure MDM's public article. This step basically initiates and establishes a trust between the Azure AD portal and Shure MDM prior to devices being enrolled. In our next step, we would be importing the device hardware hash of Windows laptops into Microsoft's endpoint portal. These details can be manually fetched using appropriate scripts or can also be automatically synced from your OEM provider. Log into endpoint.microsoft.com, go to devices, Windows devices, Windows enrollment, click on devices again. Click on import, import the .csv file, the hardware hash of a specific device that has been extracted. Here are a few device information that can be seen post importing. We will then proceed to create an autopilot deployment profile which decides what the end user experience has to be an activating device from hoop face. This profile lets administrators decide the type of join that device needs to perform, hiding software license terms, privacy settings, and other hoop face screens. This profile needs to be assigned to a group of devices using Azure's dynamic or static groups based on your needs or use case. In our last step, we will be assigning an user to the imported devices so that when Windows laptops are booted up for the first time, the username is pre-populated and the user needs to just enter the password and this step is entirely optional. Now let's take a look at how Autopilot experience would look like for an end user. Firstly, the end user would be prompted to enter username and password. In my case, I'm going to enter my Azure Active Directory username followed by which I should be prompted for a password.
post this azure ready join process is initiated which in turn triggers sure mdm enrollment prompting for terms of use the whole autopilot enrollment process lasts few minutes based on configuration or resources deployed Lastly, we could confirm that the device is automatically enrolled into Sure MDM post the autopilot process. We could confirm this by browsing to Settings, Accounts, Access Worker School, and you will be able to see that your Azure Active Directory account is added here and the device is automatically enrolled into Sure MDM. Thanks for watching. See you in the next video.